Hello everyone, welcome to this video. I want to talk about mobile phones, iPhones, Android phones, smartphones in general. What do you do if you drop this in water? What happens to the phone when you drop it in water? Well, essentially put, corrosion happens when you drop your phone in water. And normally that damages your phone beyond repair. However, data recovery, 95% of the time, is possible. So if you do drop your phone in the toilet, for example, and there's urine that's been in the toilet, that will literally, the longer it's in there, damage your phone beyond repair and beyond recovery. So if you do find yourself dropping your phone in the toilet, you know, pull it out of the toilet as soon as possible, rinse it under some water. If you've got some distilled water from the shop lying around, use that, that's better. Or even better, if you've got some medical alcohol lying around, that's the best thing to um, clean your phone with uh, because obviously water stays there and corrodes um, alcohol doesn't and it evaporates um, or even just under the tap um, you see the pH level of, of water is normally zero or one it's not very high um, and, and in general that's the recommended thing to do if you drop your phone in the ocean, that's going to corrode your phone because of all the salt. There's a lot of acid there and that does eat away at the contacts, the, the chips, the soldering, the connections, the pads on, on the motherboard will literally be destroyed by any sort, anything that's acidic. Like if you spilt coke over it, wash it straight away. Hopefully your phone will survive and you'll be able to carry on using it. However, if it's gone beyond that point and it's been soaked in the toilet for a while or it's been, you know, soaked in coke for a while and you've just let it dry out. That's not good enough. You need to wash it um, because once you allow um, acid to actually corrode the contacts on the motherboard, it'll render your device useless. So what can you do once you've washed it? Say, you, you say the phone doesn't come back to life and it's, it's, it appears to be dead. Well, if you go to Apple, they'll literally say there's nothing we can do. A story that comes to mind is a hiker in Norway was hiking, he died, and the family uh, wanted to know what was on his iPad that he was carrying. And Apple didn't even bother opening the device. So the family sent it over to America to someone called um, Jessica Jones, who runs iPad Repair, an independent repairer, not authorised by Apple, obviously. Another one I can, I can recommend is... Uh, uh, Lewis Rossman Group uh, Repair, who are based in New York. Obviously, anyone uh, more local to you, you have to do your research and make sure you get someone that knows what they're doing. Um, but data recovery, 95% of the time, is possible. And what they tend to do is open up the device and they can spend up to a whole day uh, trying to figure out what chips are corroded, what needs replacing, and hopefully get to the phone to a, a state where they can re recover all your pictures, all your photographs, possibly some applications and apps and uh, basically recover that onto a computer or onto a CD or a DVD. Um, and that's something that, that probably isn't going to be cheap, it's going to be quite expensive to do but it is possible and if those moments are really important for you, if you've gone on a holiday or you've been on a trip, um, you'll want to recover that, that information. And in the case of the family, you know, regarding the the hiker in Norway, it's very important for them for peace of mind to obtain that information. But I'm doing this video to try and highlight the fact that your phone will be more than likely a write-off if you drop it in the toilet um, because urine has a lot of acid in it. Um, once urine gets into your phone, it's going to literally eat it and write it off completely. Um, if you go to an Apple shop, like I said, they won't help you in terms of come up with a possibility of repairing it or looking at opening up, seeing how they can fix it. Apple don't do that, they don't offer that as a service. So what you need to do is look at unauthorised repairers, hopefully they can do something for you to recover the data. But it's sometimes, even then, um, the phone is too far gone sometimes for even them to repair it. Um, you know. So just be mindful that dropping phones in water, especially salt water, salt water will destroy your phone, just like uh, urine will, will in, in the toilet. Um, you know, at the end of the day, acid it, it will eat away at the soldering and destroy your phone. So I wanted to do this video to try and highlight how it's very important. I know there's a bit of a fallacy out there where you can just let your phone dry out using rice 
um, that don't work. The problem is corrosion corrodes the contacts on the motherboard and you need to be mindful of that. Um, so, you know, if you're gonna do something to get your phone to a state where you want um, the data recovered, um, put your phone in medical alcohol. Um, that should hopefully preserve the phone and dry it out. Um, you know, if you have dropped your phone in, in the toilet, wash it out with normal tap water if you haven't got distilled water. Hopefully the pH level in your area won't be too bad and hopefully it, it will clean your phone out. Uh, it may possibly require a new battery, um, but barring that, your phone may survive and be fine. Um, but ultimately, you know, if you do put your phone in water for a long time, don't expect to be able to recover it to a working state. But data recovery is possible despite what Apple will tell you. Um, the so-called Apple geniuses don't always know everything they think they know. Um, and independent repair um, places are really good at what they do. And so in many cases know far more than the Apple uh, companies that actually make the device in terms of being able to know what can be re repaired and what can't be repaired. Um, so I just wanted to tell you about this, that um, you know, to give you some advice about what to do when you drop your phone in water. So ultimately, if you drop it in water for some period of time, data recovery may be possible, but usage of your phone back to normal will not. I hope you found this video helpful. And I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye.